Hey guys, all right, so if you've ever wondered what it be what it would be like to watch a video, a YouTube video where we've got these different really cool brands fisting it out in the paramotoring world, then Friday is not going to disappoint. So I went ahead and organized a showdown. The Apco F1 versus the Dudek Warp. Winner takes all kind of scenario. Well, it's, it's, like, it's almost like a Ford versus Ferrari, but a little bit more low budget. So this is what we're going to do. Um, the rules are, it's a one and a half hour XC to the refueling point and the same route back. There's just one technicality of being forced to go through a gorge to get the pilots to fly but low altitude. But basically, we've got a Red Bull pilot, a Red Bull Africa pilot uh, flying the APCO F1. I'm going to be flying the Dudek Warp. And for some extra spice, we've got France or another uh, Nirvana race pilot flying uh, a Dudek Warp 22. Uh, got a good chance as well because he's like two meters tall, huge legs, and it's like a freaking giraffe flying a... Um, a paramotor, so he's got a good chance of outspeed barring us. Uh, then, for and also for some extra spice, we've got uh, my instructor Anton Nadir flying a Ozone Free Ride. Now, I know Tucker God always talks uh, very highly of the Ozone Free Ride, it gets up to 50 miles an hour, huge fuel burn, but uh, besides that, if one of these pilots um, comes up with a strategy to uh, finish the whole track. As fast as possible, then he wins. Simple as that. Now, two things to look out for on this race. Number one um, would be that if you're flying the most efficient speed, then you won't be wasting much time at the refueling point. But you've got to land because you've got to finish a donut. That's how we do the whole friend exhibition thing. Not all serious with GPSs and stuff. Just finish a donut and you can go. Um, so flying efficient might be a bit slower going that way, but you waste less time on the ground. Now, will that be... Uh, will, will there be um, enough time made up if you were just speed barring it all the way? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, so if the slower guy just speed bars it all the way to, to, to stay ahead, he's going to need more time to refuel more, obviously. Maybe, I don't know how long that's going to take, but that might be a disadvantage. The first part to make it back all the way to Nirvana wins. So winner take all, not a hell of a lot of rules. You just got to finish the track and um, uh, that's pretty much it and then we'll just play around a little bit with um, some extra abilities of the gliders afterwards we'll do some takeoff and landing see if the uh, how the f1 stacks up to the direct warp and um, same with the uh, the free ride if it's possible but basically this is the showdown between the f1 and the direct warp and a lot of guys have been looking forward to this um, i know the apco guys have always been talking really highly of the f1 and it's better than the warp it's only one way to find out DTH, drop the hammer. This is what we're going to do. Um, I'm not going to do this as a live event. I was planning it as a live event, but I've changed my mind. I'm rather going to go with um, combining the footage of everyone's cameras. We've got a drone pilot coming out to film here as well. Make it nice and exciting and give you guys the most entertaining movie with the brands pitted against one another. All right, guys. See you when the movie comes out. Adios.